Hi everyone, I'm Ricky from Tech Talk and today we're unboxing a brand new monitor from Philips and this is their Philips 24 inch monitor. So let's get into the unboxing. So the model number for this is 241B7Q and that's the short version. Then the longer version also has UPEB. Of course, the link will be in the description. It's from their B line, as you can see down the left hand side. We have their size as well. It's 23.8 inches, but it is classed as a 24 inch monitor. You also have some key features as well. It's an LCD monitor with an LED backlight. It has full HD resolution, which is 1920 by 1080p. You have some key features as well. So you have USB docking, so it's a single USB cable that can connect to your notebook or laptop or computer to give you a great added display. You have a power sensor, ultra narrow bezels, an IPS wide viewing angle, and also it offers flicker free technology, low blue light mode, and also smart image presets as well. So you're going to get the best picture possible for whatever you're viewing on your display. And it also has built in stereo speakers so enough about that let's crack into the tape there and let's get into the unboxing of our monitor just before we do this i just want to show you here along the top is actually showing you the best way to unpack your monitor here so just make sure you follow these instructions so you don't damage yourself lifting the monitor out or damage the monitor itself first of all at the box i've got your quick start guide here shows you information what you'll receive inside your packaging and if you fold this out as well and here again it'll show you how to insert your display into the standing pedestal and the rotation and movement of your monitor too. Then also have again in other languages and then you have your smart control and also warranty and safety information that's all available to you there. Then you will find a CD with user manuals and drivers so you can get the right driver for your PC. A Mac should just plug in and play but also you can download drivers for Mac. And then the first two things I got out was the actual stand itself and you can see here it's quite a rigid stand a nice color as well silver and black. You do have a cable management system down here at the bottom. You do have your pedestal for your monitor here to sit into and then we do have the main stand as well for it to sit into here so we're going to connect these two up together now so underneath you'll see this squared off section here that will obviously connect into this section here so align your stand and your pedestal up once turned around you do have a locking nut here you then need to lock in make sure that is made nice and secure so we now have the first part of our stand and I'm just going to show you this now If you do have any problems just leave a comment down below and i'll be more than happy to help so you will receive a usb cable there to connect into the monitor and then connect into your macbook pc or what other connection you are using you also have a uk three pin plug here with a kettle lead connection then finally you will receive a vga cable as well if you want to use this for connection so now let's get out the display and connect the display up and see what it looks like when we power it on so i have taken out the monitor now and let me just show you around the monitor and what you'll see port wise so first of all up here at the bottom you will see your control systems next to your two stereo speakers then underneath you'll see your connection so you've got your power there with a dedicated switch your VGA you've got an Ethernet cable there your mic your headphone your connection for USB and then some extra USB hubs there which I think is ideal and then on the far side here you do have a Kensington lock and what I'm going to do is turn this around and then just connect the monitor into the base so you've seen this previously with some other monitors that I've actually done for Philips is a lock-in system so what you do is take your stand put the top two in first then push down you'll hear a clip you'll also find a release button under here where you press in and then your monitor can come back out so again make sure you hear that clip and then your stand is ready to use and your monitor is ready to use so now let me show you what the monitor looks like so i'm just going to bring the camera up here and now what i'm going to do is get it all powered on 
and ready to use. So my monitor is now connected finally through my MacBook Pro. So I will admit I did have some issues with connectability. Very easy and very quick though to fix. You either first of all use the CD that is provided that does have a driver which is called Display Link which then can allow the Mac to connect to a display via USB. So as you can see I have downloaded the DMG file here. Also you can go to their website again the link will be in description you can download a version for the Mac, downloaded version for Windows there as well. Very simple, very easy to use, no issues whatsoever. If you do have any problems, always leave a comment down below. So now finally our monitor is up, ready, can't wait to use this. Full review coming up very soon. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing, the display looks very nice here. Do like the all black display, very narrow bezels around all three sides and a nice form factor in size. So remember it is very versatile as well, so you have a lot of height adjustment. which is pretty awesome. Again, you have the ability to tilt forward, and then to tilt down. And then also we have the final feature that's a little bit extra special, where you can actually rotate your display as well, all the way around. I just don't want to do it at the moment because of the cables behind, but you have that ability there. And that's a great versatility feature of this monitor. As I said, there will be a full review coming up very soon. All the links for everything that I have mentioned to go and purchase this, the display link software, online manuals. Well, just in case you don't have a CD drive, most Macs now do not have a CD drive. So I hope you enjoyed the video and this was the unboxing and setup of the Philips 241B7Q from Philips and it's from their B line. Thanks always for watching and I'll see you in my next video.